Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you how you can use the variable field in your form and calculate formulas based on the responses your audience is giving in the forms you create. So as an example, we've created a template for calculating the area of different geometric shapes and published it in the templates gallery. You can use it and play with it as you wish. And I want to show you how it's, how it's working. It's a very cool example. If you edit the template and start using it, you will have a folder like this one you, you're seeing here. And uh, the folder has different formulas in it. And if you open each of them, you see that it has different fields. And if I edit like, for example, four to three, you see that here it changes to three in like, let me show you. As you see, it's changing and it's calculating the area of the shape. Let's see how it's working. In the app formula, you see it's called Area Calculator app. If you click on it and go to the App Builder page, you see that um, there is a description here. We don't want that for now. And here we have different pages for each of the geometric shapes. So let me get back to the folder. And here you see that if I click on each of these forms and click edit, I can edit the form and change it as I want. So uh, for example, let's get to the circle area. If you click on the um, field of radius here uh, and go to let me move it here and go to the ID of ID property of the radius field, you see that uh, we've put a radius um, property ID to it, so we can call it later. So let me show you how we call it. So the area of um, a circle is radius multiplied by radius mu multiplied by the P number. Uh, which is uh, 3.14, blah, blah. And um, yeah, it's calculating it this way. You, you shouldn't put like um, equal sign or anything. Just uh, calculate it here and choose the type of it as formula. So if you put it as formula and calculate your formula here, it works. So for example, let's go to another um, shape, for example, this, uh, not the square, the rectangle area. And here we have width and height of the rectangle and uh, how it's calculated. If you go to here, to the area field, you see that it's uh, width multiplied by a height. So, and its type is of course formula. So um, here you see that uh, the width has an idea of width and the height has an idea of height. And um, you just put the ID here and um, call them here. So whatever the user puts in the width field, it will be multiplied but by uh, whatever the user puts in the height field. And it will calculate it, multiply them together and put it in the formula field. The variable field won't be visible in the form itself because it's just something you want to calculate or uh, you want to use inside your uh, form calculations in your logic, for example, or in uh, the formula. If you want to show it uh, to the users, you can. So um, I put a, an idea of area for my area variable field and I get to the section here. I have put a section and I'm answer piping the value of the area. So the area is calculated with multiplied by uh, height. And here I call it in the double braces and I say height uh, area equals width, uh, which was the idea of the width and multiplied by height, which was the idea of the height and it will put the value put in, uh, the user puts inside the width and height fields and it equals to area. And as you see, area is the ID here and width and height are the IDs here. They have this ID 
And here we call them and uh, put their value, the value inside them right here. So this is how it works. And as you see, when I refresh it and change it to like seven multiplied by nine, it puts it 63. So it automatically, automatically calculates the area and puts it here. Yep. And I've also put some default values. Yay, we have default values. And uh, you can see it here. Let me put my face here. And as you see here, uh, I put default values because I don't want uh, this to be empty when loaded. And uh, if, if I didn't uh, put default values, it wouldn't put the seven uh, or nine here um, or three or four here. If you, if you don't have anything in these fields, it will be like nothing multiplied by nothing. So instead, uh, by putting default values, you can have a formula here and it will be more beautiful and useful. So yeah, uh, this is how the variable field works. You can uh, do multiply, you can do add or my, uh, subtract. And um, yeah, you can divide, of course. And yeah, if you want to, for example, say uh, width multiply by height um, divided by two, you can do that too. I've also told you about the integer type of the variable. It's in the logic-based calculation and calculation-based logic tutorial. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to watch it. Yep. And it's so simple, it's so beautiful and so useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below and let us know what you think of it and what features you're missing. And put them in our roadmap, actually. Our roadmap is a place where you can give suggestions and describe your use cases so we understand your requirements and needs and we can build Formaloo based on how you want to use it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and bye for now.